the ethics of it all. Before we ask if something is legal, we would best ask if it is ethical. For let's face it, plenty of legal things have been, and are, unethical. In fact, the legal system thwarts ethics far more than serves them. They maintain an illusion of justice and ethics, but there is no justice unless you have money. If you are poor, you rely on the system to both accuse you and defend you. And that is not ethical. So on the question of experimental cocktails being added to our systems, ethically, we must be fully informed and consent to it freely. Making it legal to coerce and or to force such things into others' flesh, therefore, is grossly unethical. It is not ethical to say that the job you do so as to afford to live will be taken away unless you submit to being a lab rat and possibly die. It's beyond the pale. And the idea of forcing such untested concoctions on others is about as unethical as it gets. Add to that that there is no informed aspect to this whole affair. The ingredients are proprietary, and so hidden from the recipient. When you add in the history of such procedures, you can see that we are not at all fully informed. No one tells us that we cannot prove contagion. If there were deadly bugs spread readily through the air and through contact as readily as they claim, wouldn't it be easy to prove? And yet, there have been many experiments done in the military and by research scientists where the well and healthy were subjected to the sick. In these experiments, hundreds of the well were subjected to close contact with the sick. The sick coughed, sneezed, and even spat into their mouths. The mucus of the sick was swabbed into their nasal passages, and even the sick's blood and mucus were injected into them. Given all this, we would expect a fairly high percentage of these well ones to fall sick. And yet, none of them did. None, as in zero, nada, zilch, zip. Not a one came down with the illness the sick had. The only one that proved contagion was Rockefeller's pal, Louis Pasteur. And Pasteur admitted, in his posthumously published journals, that he added mercury to the stuff he used to prove it. Consuming mercury or having it injected will make you ill. How many of us are given these data when being asked to take part in this experiment? When being coerced? When forced? Needless to say, Rockefeller boosted Pasteur and his fakery for he saw the profit potential in the idea of germs spreading disease. He could sell medicine for the unicorn, protection from it, and use that to experiment on the ones he taught the lie to in his school's publishing and media. He also saw the fear the idea provoked, and after a century of instilling the idea and the fear, his descendants and pals used that fear to full advantage in 2020. So the whole is unethical from the get-go, and we ask if it's legal to lie, coerce, and force the experiment on us. It is grossly unethical, and the legal-slash-governmental system, run by psychopaths, be damned. No thinking one should stand for anything unethical. If they made it legal that everyone must sacrifice their firstborn to the state, to help reduce the population, of course, would you go along? Because it's legal. Where do you draw the line? That's just a little bit unethical, so it's okay. Ethics is the first measure. And if something is ethical, nothing in the legal system applies. And if something is unethical, it should be stopped. Irrespective of legal twists and tweaks. It is
is incumbent upon all who value freedom and uphold ethics to defy the psychopathic legal-slash-governmental system everywhere ethics is breached. And that includes this experiment on humanity, lied to at the start and consenting but not fully informed. And now legal to coerce, and soon to be forced, no doubt. When all of us who see the ethical issues make a stand, protecting one another from bullies, whether in costume or not, we will have the power. We can co-create vastly better, a society based on ethics, not legalities that can thwart ethics and place power in psychopathic hands. For more, see the playlist I have on Odyssey. The list on you, Toilet, is incomplete because of unethical censorship. And withdraw your consent from the legal-slash-governmental system, standing sovereign on higher ground, on ethical ground. We will create a world of richness for all, and full freedom within ethics. Written, voiced, and produced by Amaterasu Solar, Shill for Humanity Love always. Humanity will win.